Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Me Channel theme, okay? So if you agree with me, this song is super super catchy and you've probably heard of this song somewhere around the internet and perhaps in some meme where like the background of this song and another like kind of like auto-tuned thing plays in the back. It's pretty awesome, but anyway, let's go ahead and teach you the main theme, okay? So I'm going to teach you that section that is the obviously the most catchiest part. But anyway, let's go ahead and give you a quick preview of what you're going to learn today before we start jumping onto learning this. Okay, it goes like this. Check it out. Okay, so that's what we're gonna learn today. Okay, so. Okay, let me see. So this song is a bit harder because there are particular voicings that kind of need to be standing out. So that's why uh, each right hand and left hand, we're not going to sort of do it as the melody and chord um, for this one because this one just really has to kind of like sound with the voicings. Okay, so we're going to teach you right hand and left hand and like split up into parts and put it together after together as well. Okay, but anyway, let me see. So let's see how many parts we should break it up into. Uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four main parts to this lesson and to this whole section of this main part of the theme first, okay? So, yeah, the first part, uh, the right hand, we start with the right hand, goes like this, okay? So, okay, so check it out. So, uh, the right hand, there's sometimes there's double notes and sometimes there's single notes, so you have to pay attention to what happens. Okay, so the first part, right hand, it starts on D and F sharp, middle C is right here, so we start on the D and the F sharp right here. So it goes D, F sharp, and then the second note is F sharp and A together, and then the third note is A and C sharp together, and then the fourth note is back to F sharp and A together, and then, then the fifth note is D and F sharp together, and then just single notes, three Ds. So that's the first part for the right hand, so pay attention one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes, it kind of goes in a pattern, it goes up, so it goes D, F sharp, to F sharp, A, to A, F sharp, and back down. F sharp, A, D, F sharp, C, see the pattern, and then three Ds. Just like that, okay? So like this, dun, 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 super catchy, okay? But anyway, yeah, that's the right hand for the first part, left hand, it's pretty simple, left hand we have four elements, so four notes here, so well, there's no double notes for the left hand, so it's pretty awesome. So the left hand, we start on the B, middle C is here, we go to the octave below C, starting on the B right here. And then we go up to G sharp three times, like that, pretty simple. Okay, one more time, so it goes B and G sharp three times, like that. So remember that. So putting the two hands together, it goes like this, so it goes together, 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 like that. So pretty much the last three notes and, uh, for left hand and right hand is together. Okay, so do it one more time, so it goes like this. Together, 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 like that. So that's the first part. Let's move on to the second part now. So the second part, right hand continues on to the C sharp, and D, and then the third note is double note, D, F sharp, and then the fourth note is double note, F sharp and A. And then the fifth note is A, F, A, C sharp. And then goes F sharp, A, D, F sharp. And then here we have a triple note, okay? The last three notes on the right hand is hard because it's a triple note. It goes E, G sharp, E, so that's one. And then the second last is E flat, G, E flat. And then the last is D, F sharp, D, like that, okay? So that's the right hand for the second part. So it's a bit harder because of the, like, a lot of notes are playing together for the right hand. But anyway, let's do it one more time. So firstly, first two notes, they are individual notes. C sharp, D. And then the next five notes are double notes, which are D, F sharp, F sharp, A, A, C sharp, and then F sharp, A, and then D, F sharp. And then the last three notes are triple notes, which are E, G sharp, E, and then E flat, G, E flat. And D, F sharp, D, like that. So that's the right hand for the second part, okay? So yeah, that's the right hand. So make sure you kind of like 
learn this properly before like actually trying out the left hand stuff because the right hand here is a lot of notes. But anyway, left hand, for this second part we have, um, okay, so there's only one double note, so it's all right. So the first note is a single note, which is on F, and then B and F sharp double note, and then the rest are single notes, which are, let me see, G sharp, G natural, F sharp, like that. So there's five elements to the left hand, okay? But anyway, one more time, so the five elements are F, and then double note B, F sharp, and then go G sharp, G natural, F sharp, like that. Okay, the two hands together will just go together like this. It goes like this. It goes together, together. And then together, 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 like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Together, together. So that is the second part, okay? So the first two parts will be played back to back like this. Just like that, okay? So yeah, that's the first two parts. The third part goes like this. Right hand, it goes G sharp up to C sharp, down to F sharp, back up to C sharp, down to G sharp, back up to G sharp, down to G natural, and then F sharp. And then down to E, like that. Okay, one more time for the right hand. So there are five, six, seven, eight, nine notes for this right hand, for the third part. Okay, so it goes like this. G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, G, F sharp, E, like that. Okay, so that's right hand. Left hand, we have, okay, pay attention to the left hand. There are like a combination of like single and double notes. So the first note is a single note, A, and then it's like a huge, like more than octave jump up to the C sharp and E. So middle C is C sharp here. Okay, so you go C sharp E. And then back to individual notes, down to E, up to G sharp, back to C sharp E, down to G natural, F sharp, back up to C sharp, like that. And that's the left hand. One more time, so it goes A, and then double note C sharp E, down to E, G sharp, back up to C sharp E, down to G, F sharp, C sharp, like that. Okay, so that's the left hand. Two hands together for this third part would go like this. Goes, okay, check it out. It goes together, 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 together. Like that, okay? So pretty much most of it is actually together except for the third note on the right hand. Let's see, check it out. It's like together, together, and not by together, like that. Like that, but the rhythm is pretty important, so it goes like dun, Okay, so let's move on. Uh, actually, before we move on, the three parts will be played back to back like this. The fourth and last part of this theme of today's lesson goes like this for the right hand, it's double notes, it goes F sharp and C for how many times? Six times in total, okay, pretty easy, okay? So just, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, pretty simple, right? So that's the right hand for the fourth and last part. So it goes F sharp, C for six times. One, two, three, like that, okay. Left hand, we have, let me see if we can actually see the notes. Yeah, we just can see the D. So this is a D, this is a low D, middle C, C, D, okay? So it goes, uh, how many Ds we have? Okay, well there's six Ds, so it corresponds to the right hand pretty much. So it goes six Ds, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then here, we have triple notes, go up to G sharp, B, D sharp, which is the one right next to middle C. So it goes, and then G, B flat, D, like that, and that's it. So pretty simple, okay? So six Ds, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the triple notes, G sharp, B, D sharp, and G, B flat, D, like that. Okay, so that's the left hand. So two hands together, we'll just go like this. It goes together, 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 and then here, here, like that. So pretty simple because like, it's pretty much corresponding together with the hands. Okay, so together, together, dun, 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 dun. Pretty awesome, and that's it, okay? So, back to back, the whole thing would just sound like this. Three, four. Like that, okay? 
And so I hope you enjoy learning this awesome catchy theme. I played the entire song of this. There's like a few sections to this. It's a pretty awesome song. Nintendo and the music is just so amazing. Like no matter what like Nintendo game it is, like really love Nintendo music. But anyway, as for now, I guess, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Enjoy your time checking out all my other piano covers on this channel. I've done a lot of like, I've done the new Mario like piano covers and I've done like many other like, other game songs in the past as well. So just check it out. There's many of those videos for you to check out. There's like over 2,000 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So a lot of stuff. Remember to subscribe if you like this type of stuff, like these type of piano videos. So yeah, enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.